Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox and we're ending 2020 with a bang apparently with surface damage craters, better explosions, VR stuff, wow, alright, they've actually put out a pretty meaningful update and I can't wait to try it out. Let's go ahead and get our testing environment, which will just be throwing things at Earth because I'm very, very capable and um, very skilled at doing that. <laughs> I've thrown plenty of things at Earth, we know how this usually goes, so if something crazy happens, you know, we can go, whoa! Alright, but will we get the whoa moment? Will it be impressive? Will this collision absolutely shock me into oblivion? That it, well, that may be bad if it's into oblivion. I don't want to die from the, like, grace of the explosion. That would be... I guess it, there's worse ways to go. You know, going out with a bang, like they said. Alright. It's almost time to collide. The moon is about to hit the Earth. Which generally is bad for humanity, but it's good for content, so... It's alright. It's for the views. Three, two, one, we have impacts, and the question becomes, what's going to be left? They said craters, so I'm ex- Oh my god, I can actually see the surface moving. What? Do you see that? Do you see- Oh! Oh my. I expected it to be a little bit less, uh, noticeable. Ah, oh, I actually could see it. All right. Okay, so how awesome will this look? <laughs> That's the question. I may have went a little bit too large with the collision. It may have trouble with a crater that is like half the size of Earth. Also, the water may make it a little bit... Ch oh, jeez, no, that is very visible. You can definitely see where the crater is. Yeah, that's quite the bump. Alright, Earth, that looks a little bit painful. Uh, we can see it on the surface, but do we have an elevation chart I can look at? Uh, there we go. Okay, let's go to displacement. Yeah! What do you look at that? It's displaced by a full 20 kilometers. Oh, damn. That is a really impressive. <laughs> that is that is quite large. Wow. Um that is insanely <laughs> on the edges is it slightly higher? Yeah, we have like negative to Oh my god. Look at that absolute... 20, that means that there's like a 40 kilometer up and then down. Wow. 40 kilometer tall mountains here. That That is quite intense. Quite intense indeed. Alright, let's try this with a smaller impact so that we can really get the finesse. The finesse, you know? We don't want everyone to die. Well, I mean, most of these will just be everyone dying. But we want, we want it to at least be questionable. Uh, or at least the crater to look awesome, so let's try a slightly smaller object. You know what, we will start out by using Haley's Comet. We'll do something really small and see if we get any sort of crater out of it. No, nothing noticeable. Alright, so let's try something slightly larger. Chiriclo. Probably said that wrong, but that's alright. Alright, so this should leave a crater, because this is, this is a noticeably large object. Oh, it's already being ripped apart by, uh, <laughs> by Earth's gravity before impact. That's nice. I like the fact that all the rocks are different colors. Some randomization there. It doesn't make much sense in the context of it, but it, it's still kind of neat. Uh, did it just poke a hole in the atmosphere? Uh, what do you look at that? We poked a hole in the atmosphere. That's not healthy. Wow, is it gonna take time for that to recover? Is that intended? No, there's just legitimately a hole in the atmosphere. Um... It's just gone. Very nice. 
I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just the rendering being off. It looks intentional to me. That looks intentional. We have poked a hole in the atmosphere. Very nice. Alright, let's let that cool down and see if we have a cool crater left over. I probably should have hit a landmass instead of going into the middle of the ocean. Um, I should have been trained better for this job. This is a job. How much am I being paid to destroy the world? And who's the client? Okay. Is that it? Ah, uh, that looks to be it. Yeah, a little, little pockmark there. Alright. Let's go ahead and do Mars. Throw some things at it. I feel like Mars will be easier because we don't have, like, water to worry about. Uh, we'll be able to see the craters pretty well and we'll actually use objects that have some water in them so maybe it'll make like a lake make make all right did they change the texture on that that looks much more detailed and awesome than it did last time i remembered hmm. maybe i'm crazy but i i think this is updated texture which looks really good it's like a miniature mars kind of ironic because it's about to smash into mars <laughs> All right, we have impact. Oh, these little pieces. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it actually like carved out. Jeez. All right, so the interesting thing is because of the elevation change at the edges, it's created its own like ice because it's just so far up. We've made a shape. We've made a shape on Mars. Yeah, that was a little bit unexpected. We've... Oh, look at that! That crater looks so good! Alright. I'm happy with that. Let's turn up the temperature so that the water, like, melts. Let's be at 40. There we go. Oh yeah, and the water's collecting in the little basins. Look at that crater, though. That is pretty damn impressive. It looks kind of like the craters that are already on it. It looks pretty natural. Oh my god, and after I switch that, it looks way more natural. Wow! That's like the largest crater on Mars now. Whoops. It's okay, I can do better. I... <laughs> what if Mars hits Mars? What'll the cratery mess be? I mean, this isn't very nice. Oh my god. <laughs> the amount of collisions. It's just going to be one massive crater now. It's all that's going to be left of Mars. Sorry about the barking, you know. Doge goes Burke. Say hi to Mitzi in the comments. Maybe tell her to stop barking. Alright. We got Mars, which ate another Mars. And let's look. Oh my god, the craters. Oh, look at them. There's so many. Oh, wow. Look at that one. That is absolutely mess. Oh my god, it's so messed up. Mars is just absolutely deformed after that we can add water to the craters as well and because of the displacement it should just stay in it like lakes let's go ahead and turn its rotational period up really high so it doesn't rotate on us very nice or it rotates just so slowly we will never experience it rotating go ahead and put some oh oh i just want to put water into the craters it's given me a little bit of trouble though it's hard to aim with this it just goes everywhere. No jokes allowed. <laughs> it's messy business. Also seems to undo the displacement where it hits. Possibly. I'm going to check on that. That would be slightly disappointing, but I mean, they'll fix it. Yeah, it does kind of look like it. Oh, well, it's hard to tell. Is it undoing the displacement because the water is there, or did it actually, like... Destroy the like physical displacement. Oh no! And it all froze as well. Okay. Uh... No, <laughs> Mars, you gotta work with me, bud. You need. To... Why can't I heat you up? Oh, because we're going at 90 years per second. I see. A little bit too fast for you. All right. Okay, what is go? Oh my god, look, the ice is melting and moving. 
but it's also okay i need to make like the <laughs> low temperature the average surface temperature is not enough clearly because the hot points are still super hot um minimum temperature 50 wait a second why is there ice if it's 50 degrees hmm well, this is interesting. Let's give Mars an atmosphere. It might help out a little bit. <laughs> uh, hey, Mars, how's it going? Just one Earth atmosphere. Uh, that that should help you hold in the heat at least. No, we've given you a blanket. Uh, no, this water is kind of acting weird. Putting new water down makes it liquid. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on anymore. I just wanted beautiful craters full of water. And what do we get? We get ice cream cones. Which, I do like ice cream, but at the same time... No! Oh, everything's frozen. It's gone. Poor, poor Mars. I mean, it could have been worse, but it also could have been better for it. Oh my god, we're going at like millions of years per second. That's a little bit too fast. They definitely made the uh, time function faster. <laughs> um, but why is it ice? Oh, all right, all right, it's okay. No, we have an uh, we have another side of Mars we can play with. It's all right. We can just hide this side. We're disappointed in it, anyways. <laughs> uh. Where's my edit? Edit transform. Ah. Oh, yeah. Look at that crater! That is massive! It's just like all the way down to like this. Like, there's no dust, it's just stone. That is insane. I need to name the craters. Creative naming schemes for Spike Viper. Uh, I'm so good at naming things. This will be Vooper Crater. This will be Spook Crater. This will be, uh, uh, New Vooper Crater. Spike Viper naming in action. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and throw one more thing at this. Uh, let's throw Venus at Mars. See what happens. Oh, no. That'll definitely end in Mars' demise. Okay, Mercury. Oh! Jeez! I didn't realize how fast the simulation was going. I keep doing that. Man, it's a really bad habit. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Looks like we have a collision. Oof. Yikes, that looked a little bit painful. But what will remain? Probably craters. <laughs> Poor Mars, look at all the craters. That is uh, a little bit intense. Did it hit the same spot as Earth hit? Oh boy, what a bad day for Mars. It's uh, it's seen better days, certainly. All right. Well, we got water, we got lava, we got craters. We got everything we really need for a planet simulator, you know, those three things, that's all that's required. So, thank you all for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Uh, this is a good update, I'm very happy with this.